Hi, this is Pete Singer with Solid State Technology. I'm here at Semicon West 2016 in the Moscone Center, and I'm talking to Jeff Stoddard, who is the Global Services Marketing Director uh, for Edwards. And we're talking a little bit about safety. Obviously, in the semiconductor industry, there are a lot of materials that are, are dangerous and flammable and corrosive. Uh, I think overall, the semiconductor industry has a pretty good safety record, but you know, obviously, people in the fab should be concerned about safety. Um, what What do you think that should be their their main perspective and, and takeaway? Well, Pete, nice to meet you. Um, safety is you know fundamental cornerstone of what we believe in in Edwards and the way that we operate, the way that we train our people, the way that we um, have safety as one of our key pillars of our culture. We have a phrase in Edwards that safety is 100% of our behaviour 100% of the time. It's not just when you come to work, it's when you go home, it's coming to work, it's thinking about your colleagues, it's thinking about our customers. So yes, we, we believe in safety very much in Edwards. Okay, very good. And of course, uh, a big part of safety is preventing any problems before they occur. So just monitoring um, the, the exhaust treatment lines and uh, looking for buildup. But I wondered if you could comment on the, the ROI on that is uh, obviously you want to prevent things before they happen, but there's, there's got to be a good cost return on that. Well, I mean, you only need to think about the consequences of what happens if you don't do it. Um, you know, the little bit of expenditure up front, spending that time to maintain the system. And it's not necessarily the, the downsides that always happen, but you know, the, the improvement in performance, the continued lifetime, the longevity that we get. You know, if you keep an exhaust line clear, for example, the pump will run longer. Therefore, your pump service interval will extend. Therefore, there's a benefit that way. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes communications about safety protocols and issues is a problem, but can you comment on uh, ways to, to improve that? Well, in Edwards, we very much believe in what we call our best, best known methods, our BKMs. We have those that we share internally between our applications, our technical, our service, and our sales team. So from the point of sale through to the point of installation, through to maintenance, we maintain systems that we notify people. And then, of course, we're Raising awareness, you know, you know, we put an article in this month, Solid State Technology, about managing sub safety in the subfab. So we're trying to raise the general awareness in the industry through such publications as yours, but as well as internally, we keep that dialogue going so that our teams know when we have an issue or we experience something, we broadcast that around the Edwards organisation quickly and update our best known methods. To conclude, it can be a little challenging to convince process engineers to think about safety uh, as, a, as a primary concern rather than an afterthought. And what, do, what are your recommendations to them to uh, keep safety at the, at the forefront of their mind? I think people have to be open. We have to discuss safety, not be afraid to raise the flag when they see something that's unsafe. You know, sharing safety isn't something that we should be um, hiding from. It's something that we should be ashamed of talking about. You know, we have a culture in Edwards where we challenge people. If we see something that's unsafe, maybe as simple as, you know, you're walking around without your shoelace done up. Mm. You know, stopping somebody before it happens. The best way to avoid an accident is to prevent it. Okay, Jeff. Well, thank you, and I hope you're all safe out there. Thank you.